In today's society, it is thought that antioxidants slow down the aging process by battling free radicals in the body. But is this a myth or a scientifically backed up fact? Back in 1945, chemist Denham Harmon proposed that aging is caused by reactive molecules called free radicals that build up in the body and lead to cellular damage. As a result, it was thought that molecules that neutralize free radicals, known as antioxidants, are good for human health. By the 1990s, many people were taking antioxidant supplements. Since then, the global antioxidant market has grown and is projected to increase from $2.1 billion US in 2013 to $3.1 billion by 2020. During this video, we will explore the roles of free radicals and antioxidants in our bodies, discover why we age, and dispel the myth. Within our body, there are billions of molecules held together by electronic bonds, which can weaken and split, creating unstable molecules known as free radicals. Characterized by an unpaired electron, free radicals are highly reactive and often cause a series of chain reactions that disrupt millions of nearby cells in order to replace their missing electron. When there is an accumulation of free radicals causing an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidant defenses, there is oxidative stress on the cells. Oxidative stress has been found to contribute to the development of illnesses including heart disease, cancer, autoimmune disorders, and aging. The body has several defense mechanisms to counteract excess levels of free radicals, the primary one being antioxidants. Antioxidants are molecules that assist in neutralizing excess free radicals and protect against toxicity-induced cell death, thereby contributing to disease prevention. They can act as defense agents at different levels, including decreasing the formation of free radicals, scavenging for active radicals to stop chain reactions, and removing oxidative proteins to prevent accumulation within the body. So where exactly can antioxidants be found? There are various types of antioxidants found in many dietary sources, such as the following. Vitamin C, found in citrus fruits and green leafy vegetables. Vitamin E, found in nuts and seeds, whole grains, and vegetable oil. Flavonoids, found in various fruits, vegetables, legumes, and spices. And other sources, including cocoa, tea, wine, and chocolate. The link between free radicals and aging has yet to be clearly established, based on the current mixed literature. Some mammalian studies have shown an increase in antioxidant levels, leading to an increased lifespan. On the other hand, a recent study by Ramsdonk and Hakimi has shown that a genetic decrease in antioxidant defense in roundworms increases their lifespan. A common theory that has been hypothesized as to why free radicals cause aging is the mitochondrial free radical theory of aging. The theory explains how high levels of free radicals causes oxidative damage to the mitochondrial DNA, leading to mutations that can accelerate aging. Thus, an increase in free radicals is correlated with a decreased lifespan. However, a critical review done by Sanz et Stefanados in 2008 concluded that mutations or oxidative damage to mitochondrial DNA does not decrease lifespan. Aging is not a direct cause of oxidative damage and reducing free radicals by antioxidants is not linked to aging. So why do we age? Telomeres are specific DNA protein structures found at both ends of a chromosome and protect the genome from degradation or fusion with neighboring chromosomes. After each cycle of cell division, small portions of telomeric DNA are lost. Once the critical limit is reached, cells undergo apoptosis or cell death. Telomere length naturally decreases with age and there are many factors that can increase the rate of telomere shortening such as smoking, lack of exercise, obesity, and consumption of an unhealthy diet. As a result, this can further lead to illness or premature death. It is vital for the body to maintain a healthy balance between free radicals and antioxidants to prevent oxidative stress and keep cells functioning. All in all, aging is a complex process that is influenced by many factors, and the excessive consumption of antioxidant supplements cannot slow this natural process. Thank you for listening.